do here with Raid Shadow Legends to do a Platinum Arena push. Now, I did a video five months ago on two Dark L Hanes. Now, I'm pulling out three Dark L Hanes because I'm trying to get up in top Platinum Arena. This is at reset just this last week to get number one. Now, there's a lot of big clans out there, so this is kind of like my tryout video to get into Gods and Legends, Tau, or Mad. You know, it's hard to get into those clans, and they do that reverse boosting where they don't attack each other and push everybody else down. So I need to get into those clans because I feel like I had a really good shot at getting number one on this this reset but we'll see we'll see what we end up at and hopefully if any of those guys are watching they see these big brain plays and they're like you know what Stu we need you in our clan we need you to get to number one let's see what happens we're going up against a Duchess a Krisk a Torment and a Hegemon those are all top tier all I got is three little Dark L Haynes let's see what happens <laughs> let's see what we can do now of course we're taking they're taking less damage because of Duchess uh oh uh oh we already got a man down. Man down already. Woman down. Dead dead woman down. Dark Elhane is part of the undead. Let's bring her back up with our Molly. Now, with Molly tankered in here, when Hegemon hits us, we all get a turn meter increase. So out of that turn meter increase, with them having Torment over there, somebody's going to get frozen, right? And then from that froze, from that freeze, from that froze, from that freeze, we're going to pop off like we're doing right now, right? Pop off. Pop off. Bye-bye, team. Not too shabby. I mean, really. I am I am completely surprised that we could kill that team. There we are, Platinum Arena. We're going for the push. Actually, we're going for number one. And you're going to be crazily surprised at what we get to. 28 seconds left. 28 seconds. Let's go. What can we get to do? So this was the video five months ago. Two Dark Hell Hanes. Bye, Torment teams. Bye, bye, Torment teams. 25k views. Pretty damn nice. I like it, but what can we do with three? Again, we're going up against another Hegemon with the Torment, so we're going to throw our Molly Tanker in here, get a turn meter increase, and then obviously we're going to blow them up. As long as Hegemon doesn't kill my whole entire team, we're okay with that. We are completely okay with this. Very easy and nine seconds. Thank you for the win. Appreciate it. All right, let's move on to something a little bit harder. What? No, this one? Okay. This one looks pretty difficult as well. They have a Seeker. If you don't know, Seeker is amazing in Arena. He's in the lead position, so whenever we crit, he's going to put up shields. Shields are up. Increased defense is up, basically, I should say. And they already had shields from Chris there, and then they take less damage with Duchess. But, man, look at how many times we got frozen. Torment, Torment provoked another freeze. My Dark El Hane just have to take one turn, and then they'll reset, right? And then, boom, look at this. Look at this. Free, look at that, look at that one, you just went over and over again, and thank you, goodbye, goodbye, and then we've got a Torment here, finishing, but Torment was hitting hard, really hard on us, and the game's trying to figure out what to do when you get somebody frozen, what, what do we do, Stu, here we go, check out this guy, look, Torment just does not want to die, and then look, <laughs> Mastery's popping out of that stuff and hitting us, come on, get out of here, Torment. And then he even froze our girl over here, which should have given us another AOE, another group of AOEs. Okay, we're going in here against another team similar to the one we just faced. Now, what happens if the other team is faster than you? If they have a faster Arbiter, preferably, not a faster Siffy. If they have a faster Siffy, we're going to do some teams up against those as well. But it's harder because she puts that increased defense up. So we have to hit very hard. Okay, what if we're not faster than this team? Then we put in our Valkyrie, right? Our Valkyrie's going to get a turn meter increase. She's either going to get frozen like this, or when it's her turn, when she gets a turn meter boost, right? Especially with all these buffs. She's going to go right away, put put counterattack along with HP shields on all our girls, and that's going to get somebody frozen. It will get somebody frozen. So no matter what, we're going to go here first, or we're going to go right after the Sippy, pretty much. But we have to be strong, and all my girls are not strong. One of them's pretty well geared. The other two are very questionable. Well, we'll see. Whoever Gods of Legends that was, gotcha. I was looking, and I saw Manable in here, too. Manable does not have a Torment on his team. Otherwise, I would have attacked him. Okay, this one's very difficult. Because this Necrit guy is super overpowered for Arena. He's really cool how he protects somebody. I'm not going to say we need to nerf him, but he's, he's definitely sweet. So no matter what kind of damage we do here, which doesn't seem like a lot right now. Okay, I think we got a Helm Smasher proc there. Or that's my best geared one. Man, she just popped off. Look, she's just popping off. But that Torment gets an HP shield every time he's hit. Like, every single time he's hit. So we're barely even touching him. And then we can't kill the Necrit. Yeah, I think he I think he procced... Uh, yeah, that was... That was Swift Parry. He procced a Swift Parry. And then now look at this one. Swift Parry again. Swift Parry is so much cancer in Arena. They need to just get rid of it 
50% chance to, to apply this, and it happens all the time. And who wants to lose a match over RNG? Nobody wants an RNG match. It's the stupidest thing. I said that right when it came out. I'll say it right now. And pretty much almost all Platinum Arena players will agree with you. Okay, here we are. So maybe they're faster. We're going to put in our Valkyrie again. All right, Valkyrie didn't get a chance to get anybody frozen from that. But she will now, right? With all those buffs, she will. Which makes our girls even stronger. Look at the buffs they get whenever they're the ones that are actually frozen. And then we come over here and light up Torment. Easy stuff, man. I thought Platinum Arena is supposed to be hard. Plus, we heard on streams that you got to, like, you have to know Platinum Arena to be able to make any kind of coherent tier list. So now, I feel like I'm a Platinum. I mean, if I do a tier list, it's just going to be like Dark L Lane, Dark L Lane, SS tier, SS tier. And then everybody else is going to be pretty much, pretty much garbage tier underneath them. I mean, what else? What else do you need for Platinum Arena? Look at that. Look at this madness. Just put it on auto, Stu. Just put it on auto. Full auto. And done. 13 seconds again. Thank you. Thank you, D-Knight. Get out of here, D-Knight. Good night is what it is. Good night. That was the first guy. I don't know how that got edited in there, but that was the very first clip that we saw against that uh, Hegemon and Torment. All right, who else do we have? We can only fight the good stuff. Asta again? GNL? Did we fight this one already? I don't think we did because this, is this the first squid face we're coming up against? We got a Kandrafon in here. Now, Kandrafon can be problematic as well because... Not only does he have increased defense right now, he's taking less when he's under that veil, and I could weak hit. We could just, oh man, come on. Come on, Swift Parry, get out of here. How do you guys even play Platinum Arena with all this Swift Parry in here? I mean, how? Why? Why do you? Like, are the rewards even worth it? Is it worth me wasting my time trying to come up in here at reset? I don't think so. We're going to see about, we'll see the rewards when I hit number one in just a minute. Refresh, refresh. Okay, okay. Because, I mean, after this reset, I'm pretty sure every top-tier clan wants me on their team. They're like, Stu, if we got you, you're going to, like, definitely push everybody else down. You're going to inflate our whole team, and then, boom, we're going to all be number one. We're, like, it's just going to say whatever Stu's clan in, number one, two, three, four, five to ten. It's just going to only be them. Look at this. Boom. Siffy, Duchess, Tormund, and a Valkyrie? Oh, why so many Legos, guys? Calm down. We only got epics over here. Well, I mean, we got a given to us Arbiter, right? You get Arbiter as you go through the game. So it's kind of like a not really a real legendary. You had to buy all those across the board. I just got this stuff for free. I think she's a login reward. That's right. She's a login reward champion. Too bad we can't get her three times. <laughs> three times a login. I forget that she is actually a login reward. I don't know if it's 120 days or something like that. Somewhere around there, there was a mad Mercury. 57 yeah Stu, you got a long ways to go you're only at 24 minutes big deal you're at 57 Woohoo! it does not matter at 24 minutes in what it matters is when you finish because nobody cares about 24 minutes in you could be at number one and it doesn't mean you're gonna even come close to finishing at number one okay this guy let's see what he's all about Look, this is a towel dude i don't trust those towel guys they're kind of sneaky let's see what happens here i guarantee you i'd blow this team up in probably 15 seconds easily Tao don't mean anything to me. What? What you got, Tao? Oh, you're so weak. You're so weak. Come on, man. Swift parry, 50% chance to proc. Hello, game, 50% chance to proc. What is this? I already won. I, I'm going to count that. Look, I already won. Stop cheating. Let's rerun this. It can't happen all the time. It is a 50% chance to apply to get that, to get to Swift parry. They're unkillable. There's no way. Yeah, you're dead. I won this. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Eat a bag of D's, man. Come on. Learn how to play the game. What? What is this? Like a RNG? Maybe I can get a win with some Swift Parry on my team? Stupid. So, so incredibly stupid. All right. Let's see where we got to after that. Obviously, that probably brought us down from player from like from winning first place. We would have had first 120. Okay, 120. We got one Swift Parry and then a whole bunch of crummy ass deflection. It could have been reversed, right? And then we got a book and 100 gems. Is it worth going through all that trouble at reset for this stuff? Just to make you better at stalling on your defense to get more swift parry so you can be more of a D and just get some RNG wins. Because that team was trash. Straight garbage trash. If swift parry wasn't in this game, I would have blown it up twice in a matter of seconds. Tal, I'm on to you guys. So just like stop playing with this garbage, guys. Stop using swift parry. Get out of here, all right? I'm tired of seeing it. This is why I don't do Platinum Arena. This is why nobody does Platinum Arena. This is why it's so easy to get into Platinum Arena. 
with three Dark Hell Hades. Okay, let's go look at what my girls have on them. You guys let me know down below. What do you think about this? Obviously, Savage, Savage. One one has, one has uh, what is it? Yeah, that, that on there too. Immunity here for this one as well. So they're not crazily geared. You guys could do it if you wanted to level up three and go up against some Torment teams. I think you'd have a lot of success. It would be a lot of fun if you have those resources. But that's all we've got today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys all in a video soon.